today I'm going to work on color mixing and smoothing in needle felting. Some assembly required. And a lot of poking. So online, you see a lot of needle, well, I see a lot of needle feather things. You might not be, you might not travel in the same circles online, but sometimes they're so smooth. They're not fuzzy or furry or, you know, ridiculously fluffy like some of mine are. So I thought, you know what? Let me make one of those cute little root guys. I've seen them before. They're, they seem like a good, a good place to start really trying to smooth out the surface. I'll do my best. We'll see, but it'll be fun and it'll be cute. So first I'll make a sketch and then I'll get started. Okay, so I will start with the stem. I'm going to use a pipe cleaner and bend it so that it's sort of the right shape. And then I'm covering it with fiber. Okay, not bad. It's pretty well covered. That will do for now. I might have to add a little bit more later, but for now, excellent. Now I'm going to use some mill waste as the inside of my little root guy. I'm just going to keep building up layers until it's about the size that I want it. So now I'll go over my core with a little bit of uh, better wool, just sort of a couple more layers to give me something to felt onto. And then I will start making the little roots that are going to come off the bottom of him. Woo! Time to attach the roots. So I'm just gonna tack them on and then later on I'll really go in and felt them a little bit harder. I'm also gonna take a little bit more of my purpley wool here and go over even more. I think that it needs to be a little bit fatter so it's a little skinny right now. I'm gonna just keep on building up layers until it's the shape that I want. Okay, not a bad shape. I can work with that. Um, he looks a little bit like a tooth, but maybe roots kind of look like that anyway. And now it's time for color blending. So I, I like the purple, but I think I'm going to cover it with some of this maroonish color. So I'll just cover up most of the way with the maroon. Then I think a little bit darker at the top and the bottom maybe a little bit lighter in the middle. I'm going to just sort of blend it around and see what looks good. This is going to take, this is going to take a while, but that's part of the fun. All right, I have my colors laid out and now it's time to get felting. So basically I'm going to just poke at sort of a shallow angle and I'm going to just keep on poking until it's not furry and ridiculous. And they're getting pretty blendy. Um, I think I'm going to take this really dark color and put a little bit at the roots, the roots of the roots, the very bottom, um, and then maybe a little on top. Sort of have it uh, go from dark to light to dark. So I'm just feathering out my fiber as much as it will go and putting a little bit at a time on so that it blends from the maroonish to the, I don't know what this is, eggplant? Darkness? So it has a little gradient, but little by little, I'm just adding a little bit more fiber and blending it out. Now I'm going to do my first round of really trying to smooth the surface. Popular opinion seems to be that tons of shallow angled felting is a pretty great way to get a smooth finish. So that is what I'll do. Here he is after a long round of felting. Now this little guy is ready for his twig. So I'm just going to felt the loose end into the top of the root ball, I guess. I don't know. You know what I mean. Um, and just keep felting it until it's pretty secure. For the leaves, I'm going to start them flat on my foam. And then once they're a little bit better shaped, I will attach them to the twigs. And then I'm going to keep on poking until they're well attached. I'm going to blend a couple different colors of green into the leaves too. Nothing too vibrant and bright because I think that that won't match. Uh, I think it's going to need some layers of one over the top of the other because it is kind of a weird chunky wool. 
all right, with the colors all laid out and gently felted in, it's time for more poking to get everything felted in and smooth. Now it's time for a face. So I'm just going to give him a very simple eyes and a little smile. He's pretty cute and he's pretty smooth, but let me use my size 40 needle and see if we can get him even smoother. Here he is at the beginning of the poking. And here he is after really a seriously lot of poking. Can you tell the difference? Is there a difference? There might be a little bit. It's a little bit smoother, but now I think I'll add some cheeks. Oh, that pink is too light. I don't think it's gonna blend. I think I'll go with a darker one and then even maybe one shade darker just to blend it all in. And I will go over it all again with my skinny little size 40 needle. There he is. Is he perfectly smooth? No, he is not. Is he the smoothest thing that I've ever made? He for sure is. And he's cute. So that's a good bonus <sighs> since I had to look at him for a long time. I am definitely satisfied. Is he fuzzy? Yes. Yeah, he's definitely fuzzy. I don't, I mean, I could go over it more with the skinny needle. I mean, the size 40 is the smallest needle that I have. It's really supposed to be good for super smooth surfaces and tiny details. It helped, I think, maybe? I mean, mm, I'm gonna pretend that it helped because I did it for a long time, so. Don't burst my bubble. It did something, I'm pretty sure. Is it super smooth? No, it's not like table smooth, but it's a start. I'm pleased with my color blending. I mean, you're not gonna be able to really tell with this uh, light, but he's got a pretty smooth transition from the dark to the light to the dark again. I think he looks pretty cute. Especially if I don't usually do a really great job covering um, Pipe yes. I don't usually do a great job covering pipe cleaner. For some reason, it just doesn't cover that well for me all the time, but it worked really hard on this and it looks cool, I think. <laughs> it can be done. So there might be other ways to, I've heard of people sort of ironing their guys. I don't have that kind of an iron. They have like a tiny, tiny little iron. I'm probably never gonna do that. Maybe I'll try it one day, but this I think is sufficient. I mean, this is fine. This took, this, this took two days. So I think that that's probably a respectable amount of time to dedicate to a beat. <laughs> and um, I think I'm gonna probably make him some friends. So stick around, <laughs> cause they're gonna be cute too. And I'm pretty pleased with, with the color mixing. And I think I learned some exciting things today. Um, one is to know when to finish because I could probably sit there for another three days just poking at it and it might get like that much less furry. I think it's kind of a furry wool so I'm happy with where it ended up and I hope that you are too because um, don't mess with the beat. If you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and maybe tell a friend. Maybe you want to work on your color blending. Maybe your color blending is perfect. I don't know. Um, if you like this kind of video and you're not subscribed yet, don't make Mr. Beat sad. Click right underneath the video where it says subscribe and then click the all notifications button so you don't miss anything. And that will make him so happy. New videos come out on Tuesdays and Saturdays, so stay tuned. And until the next video, eat your vegetables. Not me though! Be awesome, and I'll see you then. Bye!